What's up YouTube, I'm EVscape and welcome back to another video. A couple of things to say before we jump into today's video, which is going to be 10 hours of the Chaos Elemental, as I'm sure you already saw in the title and thumbnail. Number one, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button. We're putting out a new video every single day for the entire year, so if you enjoy the content, make sure you click that button. And number two, a massive, massive thank you for all the support over the last 100 days. That's right, we are in triple figures for EV365, 100 videos in a row, and I am still kicking on strong. We're gonna push through the remainder of the year and uh, we are going to smash it. But thank you guys so much for all your support. I would not continue doing this if you guys weren't here supporting me. So thank you very much. Let's go ahead and crack on into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, for reasons that I can't explain or potentially reasons that are already clear to you, I need the Chaos Elemental pair. I can't say why, because I don't know if the video is going to be released prior to this. But I need to get the Chaos Elemental pet for something coming up. Uh, so today, we're going to be doing 10 hours of the Chaos Elemental. I will be absolutely fuming if I get this pet one hour in. I really want to get the pet with five minutes to go. But we're going to be doing it with a crossbow. We're kicking it off with 30,000 Revenant Ether. Kicking out 2,000 Ranging, 2,000 Restore, 2,000 Stamina, 2,500 Bruise, and 2,000 Anglerfish. Obviously, we're not going to go through all of those, but it's just so we can keep track of how many we managed to use. Over the course of the 10 hours, I'm going to do a couple hours tonight, a couple hours tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we can get it all done in one crack. We're going to go ahead and do 2k of the Ether to start it off with. Here is the setup that we're going with. I wasn't going to go with the Arvis Assembler, but it does give two extra max hits with the crossbow, which is fucking insane. Like, you just just have to take it uh if we do run out of others assemblers however because we are going to be in very deep wilderness then i will uh i'll just go back to the normal one but everything's all set up in here boys what we are going to be doing for this setup in the inventory is literally this uh it seems weird but we're not going to be using curries we're literally going to be using uh this setup right here boom no that's not it no 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 no, no. there we go Eight restores, 16 brews, heaps of food, um, and we're going to go ahead and turn off our vial smasher so that once we're done with the vials, they don't smash and we keep the inventory space open. Let's go ahead and hook the fuck in. Oh, look at that, guys. We're actually starting literally on zero kill counts, so it's going to be easy to keep track of uh, how many we kill. Fuck yeah. Good start, boys. Very, very good start. Dragon two-handed sword on KC5. Fantastic. Wait, Rune Two-Hander Sword? I didn't know that was on the drop table. Or is that a rare drop table? By the way, we're getting a two-handed set here, boys. Oi, oi. Right, it's going to wrap it up for trip number one here, guys, because I don't have any ranging potions left. But, 17 kill trip. Like, we got 17 kills in one go. I've still got five brews and uh, three restores left. When I was doing this with stews or curries on my main, I was getting fuck all, like four or five kills a trip. Crazy how much it increases it. 17 kills in, uh, what's that, 20 minutes? Probably max out at about 50, 55 kills per hour. That's fucking good shit right there, boys. I rate it. I rate it highly. Right, so we got the timer paused here so we can price check the first inventory. Obviously, the Dragon Two-Hander is not a normal drop that will come from uh, killing the old Chaos Elliot. It's a very rare drop, but do manage to get 200k from that first inventory. So if that's anything to go by, 600k an hour is not too bad. But that being said, we did go through quite a few brews and restores. I imagine this is quite break-even uh until you get a dragon pickaxe drop so um, i'm okay with break even until i get a d pick hopefully we get a couple of those throughout this episode but the main idea of killing the chaos ellie is to get that pet yeah that's nice boys nice to get a loop half and then a tooth half within uh, a few kills of each other saving inventory space you know what i mean first lot of pks boys a pretty easy escape if you ask me don't know what these chiefs are doing 
Oh, he wants to go by himself. All right, let's do it. I reckon I can take this guy on if I'm completely honest. Right, so I literally just outlasted that guy with only a crossbow. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Like, very clearly, he wasn't the best PKer in the world. But don't you think it's a little fucked up that all I did was fire a fucking bow at this guy? And I outlasted him. <sighs> yeah. Don't know about this game sometimes, boys. Feel bad for him. Alrighty, boys, that is going to wrap up the first hour of the old Chaos Elemental. 43 kills we managed to get. Uh, that was being interrupted by PKs a few times, but obviously being a boss in the wilderness, that is something you're going to have to expect. If you don't get interrupted, I'd, like I said, I imagine you get about 50 kills, 55 kills per hour, but um, in the wilderness, you are going to get hit by PKs pretty often. It's just part of doing a boss in the wildy, but... That being said, even if you do only get 40 kills per hour, that's less than 10 hours for the expected value of a pet. Less than 10 hours. Like, if you ever want a pet, this is definitely the one to go for. You know what I mean? It's super, super quick. But we're going to quickly head to the bank and grab out all the loot we managed to obtain and get a price check. Okie dokie, guys. After one hour, this is the amount of loot we've managed to obtain. I'll go ahead and take these out just quickly. Yeah, like I was saying, about 600k in the hour. Uh, obviously, we got a little less kills than we were expecting, but we did get that dragon two-handed sword. But we did get that dragon two-handed sword. Uh, and then on top of that, if we go ahead and take on the expected value of the dragon pickaxe drop from the Chaos Elemental, the expected value is actually 23k per kill on those 43 kills. That's another one mil in expected value per hour so uh just in the first hour 1.6 mil uh we were expecting you know if we calculate everything into it obviously we're not going to get a dragon two and every single hour but not too bad guys 1.6 mil is actually pretty decent um i do however believe we went through more than uh one yeah we went through 1000 853 charges on the crossbow which if we get the ether out we can see oh don't drop that no examine it we can see that's 326k right there so uh we almost definitely broke even or lost money on that hour and we need to get a dragon pickaxe to make up for it this guy could not be more clearly skull tricking and i would not be surprised if this is his buddy <laughs> oh, this is quite funny. That's quite a bit of risk, actually. I wish I was out here PKing right now, man. Oh, well. Right, I've decided, since most of the PKers here aren't that great, I'm going to ditch the pegs because they don't actually help that much in terms of DPS. And I'm going to go bring out some D-claws. If I happen to run into a PK that's not so great and I can crossbow them down and then just sling in a claw spec that could make for some funny clips all right boys that's gonna wrap up our one number two i'm devastated because i went and got my dragon claws and did not see a fucking pk for the rest of the hour like why does that happen all the time when i'm not prepared for them they're there when i are when i am when i are prepared for them when i am prepared for them they're not there why are they always gonna do that to me it's fucking annoying but that's not the point the point is this hour we managed to get 49 Chaos Elemental kills, which is way up on the 43 hour we got last time. Obviously, that is on account of the less PKs that we ran into, but 49 kills in the hour, not too bad. We are one third almost of the way towards the pet, which means we should get it by four hours left. I really hope we do get it at some point, but not too soon. Because I'm going to be so demotivated to do keep like continue doing this boss. Because I'm not going to lie, it is a shit boss. It's not enjoyable. I'll be demotivated as fuck if I get this pet. And then I have to keep doing it. You know what I mean, boys? See what happens. Got some skull trickers here, boys.
I think I'm out. Nice. Nice. They should have had me there, but they messed up. Uh, the guy obviously couldn't click teleport to the right spot quickly enough. So, uh, Also, they were skull tricking. I want to make it very clear to everyone. If you're in the wilderness and someone is stood next to you saying, Oh my God, why are you barraging me? Bah, 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 bah. Obvious skull trick. Just do not attack them back if there's more than one person. Trust me. There's dragon two-handed sword number two. Oh, man. I mean, it's half as rare as a dragon pickaxe, and we've had two of them. So if that's any indication of future RNG, which, as we all know, absolutely 100% is, the next one's going to be a dragon pickaxe. There's a couple PKs here, guys. I don't have many brews left, but I do want to take them on. If one of them comes at me, I'm going to give it a crack. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. No, I died to this guy? Halfway to the pet, boys. Halfway. I'm going to get it exactly on 300. I know it. Hey, there we go, boys. I told you the next one was going to be a dragon pickaxe. Cheeky little six mil to the bank there. I'm definitely going to go bank this bad boy because I do not want to lose it. Rune spear, eh? Hey? That's an interesting one. Imagine that's a uh, rare drop table as well. It's not the fucking pet drop table though, is it? What the fuck, man? It's like five kills later, I get a D sphere. You kidding me? No, I didn't get it on. I didn't get it on film, boys. I just fucking killed a guy. He sculled up on me and I just clawed him out. Damn it. Oh. Legit two hit the guy. How did I miss that? Seven fucking prayer potions as well? I'm gonna have to leave on the ground? Just give me the pet already, dude. Another dragon two-handed sword to the collection. Two thirds of the way to the pet rate. No pet in sight. All right, boys, we are just about over halfway through. Just over halfway through we are. Um, unfortunately, still no pet, but we have managed to obtain three dragon two-handed swords. Uh, bit annoying. I can't show you guys the loot from the whole thing, but I can show you guys the loot from the last hour, which uh, did include that dragon two-handed sword. About 700k profit there, not too bad. And if we go ahead and get the ring of wealth out, I just hopped world, so I don't actually know... Uh, how many kills we're up to, but considering we started on zero kills, we can see that the Chaos Elemental is at 213 kills, so we are quickly, quickly approaching that pet drop rate. Really hoping I get it soon, because if I don't get it throughout this video, I'm gonna be fucking fuming. Oh my fucking god, I'm so sorry everyone, I'm eating right now. I know you all commented and said you didn't want to hear that, but I just got the pet. I just got the fucking pet. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> We got out, boys. We got out. Nice. Four hours, 38 minutes left on the clock, and we managed to get the Chaos Elemental pet. Let's chuck that bad boy straight in the bank. Nice. Just under drop rate as well. That being said, I have done, you know, uh, X amount of kills on my main, like 120-something. So between my accounts, I am just over the drop rate. But, whew. Glad to get that one out of the way. Let's see if we get another pet roll in the last four and a half hours. Hopefully not. Uh, just in case anyone was wondering, no, I did not get back-to-back -back pets. Fucking sad game. Oh, I'm so mad, guys. I just made the most epic escape ever, and you guys missed it. Because I forgot to press start recording. And on top of that, I almost killed one of the PKers with a claw spec... <sighs> Why can't I get things on film when they're cool? I just saw a guy running glories in this world. I think I'm going to just quickly fly up on my main and PK him. Let's have a look. Fuck. I logged in just as he got there. That's so annoying, man. Nearly at him. Oh. Oh, would you look at that, boys? 
literally everything that I had on me. Oh, boys, this is not fun. There's literally one team that's just like uh, sat there at the Chaos Elemental. So, I mean, hopefully we don't find them again, but if we do, I already got the pet. Oh, boys, another dragon pickaxe. There we go. That definitely makes up for the last two deaths that we just had literally five minutes ago. Nice, boys. Let's get out of here with it. Two dragon pickaxes, boys. Pretty happy with that. All right, boys. It's getting a bit silly now. Another D pick. Three dragon pickaxes in 273 kill count. Three dragon two-handers and a pet. This has been a fucking good 10 hours. I cannot believe that I can now say I have been lucky at a boss. And even more to the point, I cannot believe that boss is the fucking chaos elemental dude. Come on. Fucking hell, boys. It's literally all happening. D2-handed sword coming in. Four Dragon 200 Swords and 279 now. Oh, I just realized I missed by one kill count. Uh, the uh, pet rate, boys. We're at the pet rate. And we didn't get a second one. We're officially unlucky, my god. God damn. I would have wasted so much less time had I had the fucking teleport to destination option on this account. But I don't. I reckon I've probably spent 10 to 15 minutes just inside the obelisk trying to get back to level 20 warden. Dragon two-handed sword number five? So the fifth dragon two-handed sword? Yeah, number five. What's this pure doing? Dude, what the fuck? I got a rune two-handed sword again. That's the second time I've gone back-to-back -back dragon two-hander, rune two-hander. Maybe there's one kill in between this time. That's fucking weird. What the fuck is my luck, dude? That has to be so rare. No, no, no fucking way. How many kills was that? Three tops. Nah, Chief. I need to know the rarity of that. Okay, so this most likely isn't the way that you figure this out, but I figured there was three kills in between each shield left half. So the first one is a 1 in 4,096 on the rare drop table. Then since there's three kills, we have a 3 in 4,096 chance. Multiplying those two together is a 1 in 5,592,000 chance. Once again, most likely not the way that you figured out. I'm sure someone in the comment section can tell me, but if that's a 1 in 5 million, not countering the uh, not counting the rarity of actually hitting the rare drop table in the first place. That's fucked up. What? Okay, this is just getting fucking stupid now. I checked. This is within eight kills. Eight kills of each other. What? I I don't even know anymore. One hour remains, boys. Let's get ourselves another dragon pick. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, sixth dragon to Ander. Alrighty, boys, this is gonna be the last kill. Five seconds left on the clock. All right, let's stop that because that's fucking well loud. Turn the timer off. This is gonna be the last one. Uh, I think it's gonna be 397, maybe? 394, okay, cool. Uh, definitely not 397 then, but let's go ahead and pick up this last bit of loot, get the flock out of this shithole, and uh, we'll go tally up all the loot. As we can see, 394 kills for the 10 hours, which is quite a bit less than I was expecting. As you saw in one of the hours, I managed to get 49 kills, so I was expecting uh, closer to 50, but that is not factoring in uh, PKers being able to come along and uh, grief you, essentially. So um, when you're doing anything in the wilderness, you always have to factor in the chance that you could get PK'd. PK is going to come along, and you're not going to be able to do the method as efficiently as you possibly could. So uninterrupted, I'd imagine around 50 kills per hour, but with PKs, I think 40 is a more reasonable expectation for how many kills you're going to get. But 394 kills, the pet, few dragon pickaxes, I'm fucking happy with this.
Alrighty boys, so I've tallied up all of the loot we managed to obtain in the 10 hours. Let's go ahead and get a price check of it. I'm going to leave out all of the uh, dragon two handers and dragon pickaxes for now, but let's go ahead and chuck everything else in. So over the course of the 10 hours, I managed to obtain 4.2 mil in loot. Just in the regular loot, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and chuck in these dragon pickaxes and dragon two-handed swords just yet. Because what we want to figure out is exactly how much we should have expected in expected value from those 394 kills. So the expected value per kill from a dragon pickaxe and a dragon two-handed sword combined is 24,000. 351 GP, meaning that we should have expected another 9.5 mil GP, 9.6 mil GP in the 10 hours, which would take us up to 13,800,000 GP for the 10 hours, 1.3 mil GP per hour in expected value. So before we go ahead and see how much we actually made, 1.3 mil an hour, 13.6 mil in total. Let's go ahead and chuck in all of the supplies we used over the course of the 10 hours and see how much money we would make. Right, so 5.3 mil is what we would have spent, 13.6 is what we would make. Over the course of those 10 hours, we would have made 800K per hour. So obviously not the best money maker in the world. And if you do not obtain a dragon pickaxe, you are not going to make money. So this is really a pet hunting boss. That being said, boys, I did manage to get a bunch of dragon pickaxes. So let's go ahead and chuck them all in there. See how much money we managed to make over the course of the 10. So I personally managed to make 28 million GP minus the 5 million GP. 23 mil in the 10 hours and uh, that 23 mil equates 2.3 mil an hour. So once again, still not the best money maker in the game, but that is not the point of killing the Chaos Elemental. No one kills the Chaos Elemental for money. Everyone kills the Chaos Elemental for this little bad boy here, the old pet Chaos Elemental. Now, I said at the start of this video, I needed to acquire this for reasons that I cannot explain. You guys will find out why I need this pet in two days time. Tomorrow, there's going to be a video including this pet. The day after, you will find out exactly why I needed it. I'm sure some of you in the comment section already know why I need this pet, but you guys will find out in a couple of days why I said I needed it. All in all, the 10 hours of the Chaos Elemental was actually quite enjoyable. I did like killing the Chaos Elemental. It was very chill. Even though you are in the wilderness, you are so rarely going to find PKers. And if you take some Dragon Claws out, sometimes you can fight them back, which is quite nice. But it was just chilled. Sit there with your Mage Prayer on, crossbow, no worries. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Boys, if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode in EV365. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out a new video every single day this year. Don't forget to click that bell icon as well so you get notified when it comes out. If you guys really enjoyed a video, you could also leave a like. That really helps out the channel to get the videos in suggested and it's really good for channel growth. On top of that, if you are enjoying the videos and want to see some of these things get made live as they happen, I stream five days a week over on Twitch. Crazy stuff like this goes down very often. Boys. <laughs> oh no, I know that noise. Oh, you have to I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. How much cash is that? 124 mil. Holy fuck. <laughs> Muscles. Hey, hey, disgusting. Uh. Did you just fart? <laughs> And if you just want to keep up with my day-to-day -day wheelings and dealings, you can also follow me over on Twitter at EVScape Official. All links will be in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Take oh it easy. Oh my god, I bet you're killed by a fucking bear. Oh my god.